Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Flame of Calabra here and today we are going to be going ahead and trying out the new Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC uh, Wave 3. Now this wave uh, came out on Wednesday I believe, uh, last Wednesday. It's currently the 13th as I'm filming this. I was just so busy with college work and stuff like that and I have played them. I played them like a few days after release, but I just want to go ahead and play them with you guys and show you guys the tracks. Uh, this is probably my favorite wave so far. Absolutely love it. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the new wave and the new courses and my opinions on them as I go ahead and play them for you guys. Right, so here we are. It's these two new cups, the Rock Cup and the Moon Cup. The Rock Cup features tours of London Loop, GBA's Boo Lake, 3DS Alpine Pass and Wii's Maple Treeway and uh, Moon Cup features tours Berlin Byway, DS Peach Gardens, Merry Mountain and Rainbow Road. So we'll go ahead and start off with playing the Rock Cup. So honestly this wave, I feel like it really tailors to me with this wave and I'll be explaining as the tracks go on. So with the first track, London Loop, um, I live in the UK if you guys didn't know or if you really couldn't tell by my accident, accent. Um, oh, I got, yeah. So it's pretty cool, you know, because I live in the UK, I usually go to London a lot. So it's pretty cool that we have a course based on the area where I kind of live. I mean, I don't live in London, but I live quite close to it. So. Yeah, and this one is honestly, it's okay, it's kind of boring honestly. There's a lot of London references, I mean you can see the telephone box right there. So, these city tracks are honestly really cool to see in Mario Kart. So, and we even have the London Bridge here which is kind of cool. Yeah, this one, it's, it's okay. You can even see like the Big Ben in the background, I love the details. But yeah, this one's just alright in my opinion. I do obviously like the references um, since I obviously live here, but then I think it changes for the second map where we have the city section. Um, my favorite course, my like my favorite of the city courses is probably still the uh, the the I think it was a wave two, wasn't it? The um, what was it? The Australia one. So I forgot the name of it. So I think the third lap is the same as the second lap. Not really much different here except like the change homes are now moving. And it does get a little bit confusing but it's not too bad. Oh my god you even see like the, in the back there you saw the uh, bus, the London bus. Okay so it does change a little bit for the third uh, lap. But we are almost done with this one, London Loop. So that was London Loop. Probably not my favorite of the um, city tracks, but it is still really cool that we actually have a London one now, especially in this wave. So that's awesome to see. Then we have GBA's Boo Lake. I think I, this one was on the 3DS, which is where I played it on. I, I, might, I might be getting that confused with a different track, but uh, Boo Lake from the GBA. There isn't like too much interesting for me with this one because I didn't play um, Thingy Mario Kart. Uh, oh, what the heck? Um, what's the name of the. the um, oh, yeah, Super Circuit. There we go. I didn't exactly play Super Saga, but I think it was on the 3DS. Um, and I did play Mario Kart 7, so... But this one's actually pretty decent as well, in my opinion. Kind of wish we had uh, Wii's uh, SNES um, Ghost Valley 2. I know it's kind of like a really quick, kind of boring course, but I always liked how quick it was, so... Would be kind of cool to see in Mario Kart uh, 8 Deluxe. I'm also glad that they're finally using anti-gravity in some sections of the of the courses. Really took their time for them to do that. And that was it then. 
it's the it's a decent course I'd say. Next up we have 3DS Alpine Pass. It's called Alpine Pass for I think European countries, which is Rock Rock Mountain for the US. It's so weird that they do that. Literally the same thing. Oops. <laughs> was in Mario Kart Wii where literally like some of the track names and the vehicle names are different which is really weird but yeah this is Rock Rock Mountain I'm just gonna call it that which is a way better name than flipping Alpine Pass but I really like this one on the 3DS I really like this section this glider section always iconic you know you have so much space and you can trick off there <laughs> so really like this one I think the music changed as well. I mean, I don't really remember the music that much um, with this course, honestly <laughs> speaking, but... Oh god, we're about to get blue shield. There's also some really cool new additions that they did with this um, wave. Like, they changed um, getting lightning shocked, or getting shocked when you're uh, gliding. And also they changed, uh, you can now have like custom items, which is such a chaotic yet fun thing. Because you can literally have like, just blue shell, which is really really cool, I like that feature a lot. So, it's cool to see it in um, this game now. Like honestly, the booster course pass is really giving me like Mario Kart Wii vibes, because I play a lot of Mario Kart Wii CTGP. And like, you know, you always see like custom made tracks and like modes like, um, you know, blue shell only, <laughs> so it's cool seeing it in this game now. And that was uh, Alpine, or whatever you want to call it, a rock rock mountain. Um, that was pretty, that was a pretty decent one. Finally, we have Maple Treeway from the Wii. Such a beautiful track, I really love this on the Wii. So it's awesome to see you back as well. Like, come on man, who doesn't love Maple Tree Way? It's such a beautiful track. Really love it, man. The music is not as good as the uh, Wii version. But the track still looks pretty decent. And they did change some things up. Like, for example, this like tree bark. They made it more wider in this version. We have the Wiggles, the Wiggles as well, which is awesome to see. And then they uh, brought back the half pipes, which is awesome to see. I love, I actually really like the half pipes, how they brought them back. Um, and then they changed this section right here. This used to be like the really weird section, now they just made like a glider section, which is okay. You know, I do prefer the Wii version having that, but it's still it's still decent, I'd say. And here we are, final lap. I kind of wanted to go on like on top of that shortcut at the beginning, but oh well, I didn't go on it. And that's that one done. So yeah, honestly, really great selection of tracks, but we'll be going with the next cup after this. And here we are with the uh, final cup for this wave, the Moon Cup which is Berlin Byways, DS Peach Gardens, Merry Mountain, and 3DS Rainbow Road. So, Berlin Byways. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I was actually born in Germany. Um, so it's awesome to see Germany also represented in this wave with this track. And man, the music in this track is just something else. It's awesome. And I'm not used to Pike, so I don't know why I chose this combo. But I remember, man, like the music uh, for this track is so good. And we even have like the train right here. Germany trains the Deutsche Bahn. <laughs> man, there's also lots of cars everywhere. So, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool. But honestly, I don't know if this really is like a great representation of like Germany. I mean, I don't know. I've never actually been to Berlin. Uh, I'm, I live somewhere else in Germany, so... But yeah, they changed it up a little bit for the second lap. And then for the third lap, they have these... This area, which is interesting, <laughs> kind of awkward, but okay. Third place, okay, fine. It's because I'm not used to using bikes in this game, but... 
Okay, I'll take it. And then Peach Gardens, man. Absolutely love this one in Mario Kart Wii uh, and DS. So, and they changed up the final lap as well of this, which is really weird, but okay. And they blocked this section off, which is also weird. They definitely toned this down a lot. Even this section is a lot different than from the Wii, but damn, the, the music is great. Now they even remove like the ramps, you only have the Monty Mo, so you just kind of trick off. And then for this final lap, you quite literally go backwards, which is really weird. And this chain chop is also now here as well. So as you can see, we literally go backwards. Yeah, you take that new shell, but this is also really cool. I actually think this is a cool change, but just going backwards. And yeah, that was um, Peach Gardens. Great that they bought this one back as well. Then we have Merry Mountain. Great Christmas themed one that they have because it's almost Christmas now. I also quite like this one. Um, it's honestly a great theming to have here. Especially with this wave since it's closer to Christmas. And we don't really have like that many Christmas themed tracks in Mario Kart Wii. We only have like, or in Mario Kart in general, we only have like snow themed ones. The background does look kind of generic though, I'll be honest, like this mountain background, but... And even have we, we even have the half pipes here, which is awesome. Okay, this one's actually quite fun, I think. Okay, so I guess we're going this way now. This is just a lot of Christmas like themed, you can even see like the candy canes, I think that's actually really cool. And that was Merry Mountain. Decent, decent one overall. Also a pretty good one, but the final one is... My favourite Rainbow Road in the series, so I'm really glad that they bought this one back and I hope we see more Rainbow Roads being bought back. 3DS Rainbow Road. I think for the Moon Cup, honestly, we should have probably seen like a Mario Odyssey themed uh, course, but I love, love 3DS Rainbow Road and they made it look so pretty in this um, remake. Like, I absolutely love the floor here. I think it just looks so good. Man, just this one in general. Absolutely love. We even have, you know, the Saturn like one, Saturn um, like ring thing. I hope we see more Mario Kart uh, 7 tracks because I love, like, Mario Kart 7 has some probably the best tracks in the entire series, in my opinion. There's just so many solid ones, so many great and unique tracks that are kind of stuck on this, on the system, so on the like, Mario Kart 7, so. I hope we see more of them in the booster course pass. Yeah, that is um, that is the final one for this booster course pass. Or oh, not this booster course pass, oh my god. We're halfway through the booster course pass, but that is the final race for this cup. Overall, the wave 3 is probably the best wave so far. Um, next year, we're obviously going to make the rest of the waves. And yeah, I can't wait to see what else. Uh, what other DLC tracks we get but anyways that is it for today's video hope you all enjoyed it if you did then leave a like subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye